watch your screen and welcome back to my channel and it's officially winter time which is the favorite time and favorite season of the year I love winters and with that being said it is time to begin our happy winter week time yes you got to try and if you don't know what that is basically I'll be uploading videos every single day of this week yes you heard it right I am really super excited and I'm super pumped and energized like you see I'm like totally in the winter theme and yeah with that being said I hope you guys are excited as well just the way as I am because I'm really looking forward to this happy winter week it's one of my favorite times because I get to meet you guys every single day of the week this is day one all right so I want to keep it really easy and simple in the beginning maybe we can get a little dramatic by the end of this week I don't know today I'll be sharing with you guys my winter college makeup routine it's very simple very easy it has very minimalistic products something you can literally do on the go in the car train bus anyway this is your go to i have all the products that i need in this bag and yeah if you're interested then please keep on watching i don't want to use much of beauty blender because it is literally the best invention made by mankind and i'm going to start off by using the garnier wrinkle lip this is how it looks like honestly i really don't think that 150 rupees cream is going to fix up your wrinkles so yeah i just like to use it as a regular moisturizer so i'm going to take a nice big chunk of it i'm going to place it on the back of my hand and i like to mix it with my color bar illuminating lotion so this is how the mixture of the two looks like now this is going to not really hydrate my face but also give me that luminous look which i am all about and can you see how quickly it gets absorbed into my skin like bam and it's very very important to moisturize and hydrate your skin before doing makeup no matter how late you are because if you don't do your skin care that is hydrating and moisturizing your skin trust me you're going to take forever to do your makeup so even though this looks like an extra step and you may think you can skip it but you can honestly not because this is like the key the ultimate thing you should be doing now, while this is getting absorbed into my skin i like to wait for a while but since we are getting late already i'm going to do my eyebrows now again i know eyebrows is the key and to be very honest i don't do eyebrows as much often as i should be but i am getting there you know i'm getting there and i'm kind of getting into the habit of doing brows more frequently So today is the day I'm going to do my brows. So I'm going to be using my Miss Claire eyebrow pencil. I really like it. It's just for rupees forty. All right, so brows are done, and I like how they look. Now in terms of my skin, yeah, it is all hydrated and good for makeup. Move on to my primer. Yes, I do use a primer on an everyday basis because I like to keep my makeup long lasting. So it's this Blur primer which I really like. I'm going to skip on to the whole color correction process and I'm going to my regular base. And for my base, I am really enjoying the Bharat and Doris foundation and the one of the many reasons why I love this is because it's exactly of my skin tone which I like. So this is how it looks like. It's in the shade 06 sand light i just like to take a little bit with my fingers and it's like this balmy kind of texture so you kind of have to warm it up with your fingers first and i just like to apply it underneath my eyes very inexpensive especially if you buy it on sale on nykaa like do you see there's already a difference between this side versus this side it's not highlighted i'm just evening my skin tone out and it blends really beautifully i'm not using any product on my eyelids because i want to keep that natural darkness because it almost looks like i've put eyeshadow where i honestly i've put nothing it's just my actual skin tone i have a little bit of discoloration over here so i'm just going to use the same exact technique and pat it around there so now i'm just going to give it a quick final blend with my beauty blender this is by real technique and I'm just making sure there are no harsh lines. If there is any excess product, the beauty blender will suck it up. But I like to set this as well. For which I'm going to use my brush, and I'm going to be using my Freedom Pro Stroke palette. I really love it. It has everything that you need. So I'm going to be using this yellow shade underneath my eyes to like brighten it up a little bit and make sure it doesn't crease whatsoever. 
Do you see how brightening my under eyes look already? Yeah, that's why I love this so much. I have to set all of my face so that it's all even toned. I'll be using this lighter shade and this brown shade because this light is too light and this brown is too brown. So I'm just gonna mix it up. And just buff it in. So honestly, this is a time if you feel your brows are a little too strong, you can take the lighter powder and just powder your brows. Yeah, that's literally what I do. Yep, I really like how my skin looks, but I know I look a little too pale or just like one skin tone. I want to give a little bit of dimension in my face. So I'm going to be using same exact palette and I'm going to bronze up my skin ever so slightly. So I'm going to be taking these three shades. I'm just going to mix and swirl my brushes. Do the need for that is to bronze slash contour, whatever you want to call it. I'm doing it very slightly, not too harsh at all. I'm going to take my beauty blender and just push it all into my skin. To be very honest, this is all you need for your face. Now, in when it comes to highlighting, I feel it's very optional. It's very personal if you want to highlight or not. Now, if you're someone who's starting to get into makeup, you know, it's only you who needs to get comfortable with makeup. But, but it's also the people around you that needs to get comfortable seeing you with makeup. So I think what a beginner's point could be for especially highlighting because it's like, literally on your face i actually did when i was a beginner i would just highlight my this because when you highlight this this is a larger area and then you know the highlighter is like on your face and in different lightings it can it can be poppy or can be too much so i feel this portion where you're doing eye to eye contact the larger portion so it's very minimalistic at the same time it is glowy so you know it's still visible i don't know if i make sense but that totally made sense in my mind so yeah i'm just going to show you how that would totally look like so I'm just going to take the same highlighter, everything I'm using is from this palette, then the cupid's bow and then bridge of the nose. Again, very good you know, to make your nose look pointed and sharp. And that, just take your beauty blender and press it in. That's literally it. This is how you would look like, so it's all normal over there. It's just this portion of your face looks highlighted. However, if you are totally fine with highlighting your face you can totally highlight your cheekbones just the way i'm going to do so i'm just going to take a little bit of this and highlight my cheekbones I'm just going to do the same exact thing tap it in press it in now moving to the eyes i'm just going to curl my eyes again very optional i'm going to use my last sensational mascara This is a very optional step. I do not apply kajal every single day but whenever I do, I prefer not to wear black because black is literally like on your face and I usually have a lot of black in my outfits and at the same time, you know, black can really make your eyes look small which I have naturally. I have to use this greyish color. It's, uh, it's by In Color and it's in this shade Slate. It's so effortless. And now it's time for lipstick. Like, very personal. It keeps changing literally every single day. Today I'll be sharing my Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade 55. I am really digging this color. I know it literally looks like on your face. Too bold for morning time college but it's not that on your face. It's actually a beautiful mauve nude which I personally love. Very comfortable on the lips. Duh. And it's even perfect for fall, so it's like win-win. And with that, we are done with this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. This is the final look. I really, really love it. This is very quick and easy. I promise you, you'll be able to achieve this in less than 10 minutes and get yourself look really put together like this. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That would totally make my day. And also do not forget to subscribe if you like this cute little face that you see on your screen. And if you want to get notified every single time, do not forget to hit that bell notification right beside it. Also, we can totally stay in touch and chat on my social media. You can DM, email, message, whatever you feel like. I will see you guys tomorrow in day two of Happy Winter Week. Let me know what types of videos you want to see. With that being said, I will see you guys in my very next video. Boy!